Hi guys, welcome to Sita. Today I'm going to talk about the top 5 best recycling countries in the world according to the researches which have been done. So, those top 5 countries are Germany, Austria, South Korea, US, and Switzerland. Okay, let's talk about them one by one from here. First is Germany. Since 2016, Germany has had the highest recycling rate in the world. The new German Cross Cycle Management Act is aimed to turn the waste management into a resource management. The realization that waste can be a useful source of raw materials and energy is not new. Metal, glass, and textiles have been collected before and put to new use. The waste management policy, which has been adopted in Germany, over the past 20 years is based on closed cycles and assigns disposal responsibilities to manufacturers and distributors of products. This has made people even more aware of the necessity to separate waste led to the introduction of new disposal technologies and increased recycling capacity. Today, 14% of the raw materials used by the German industry are recovered Years, thus leads to a reduction of extraction levels and of the related environmental impact. Modern cross-cycle management contributes with a share of approximately 20% to achieve the German Kyoto targets on reduction of climate-relevant emissions. Cross-cycle management is not only a contribution to the environmental protection, it also pays off economically. The waste management industry has become an extensive and powerful economic sector in Germany. Almost 2 million people are employed in approximately 3,000 companies which generate an annual turnover of approximately 40 billion euro. 15,000 installations contribute to resource efficiency by recycling and recovery procedures. High recycling rates of approximately 60% of municipal waste, 60% for commercial waste, and 90% for construction and demolition waste for themselves. Now let's see about waste recovery and waste disposal in Germany. Germany's waste recovery rates are one of the highest in the world and show how the waste industry contributes to sustainable economic production and management management in Germany by saving raw materials and primary energy. The share of waste which cannot be recovered has to be consigned to disposal without inflicting harm on the environment or on human health. Organic waste always has to undergo mechanic, biological or thermal treatment to render it inert thus helping to reduce drainage water leakage and releases of landfill gas. So let's see one by one. Firstly, recovery of waste paper. Recovery of packaging materials. The most packaging is used to cover and protect food. Common packaging materials are glass, aluminium, tin, plate, plastic, paper, cardboard, and wood. All of them valuable secondary raw materials which if reused or recycled can help to reduce the exploitation of natural resources led to energy savings and reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. Secondly, recovery of biowaste. The demand for high quality compost currently exceeds the supply. There is a good reason for this. Compost or digested produce from separately collected and treated bio waste can be used for fertilizing and soil amelioration. If bio waste which is suited for the purpose is consigned to digestion, it is moreover possible to recover the energy generated. It is for example also possible to produce substrate mixtures for specific purposes from specially composted bio waste and soil. Concepts of this kind can play a significant role in the conservation of resources. Bio waste is also expected to make a larger contribution to energy generation in future. Therefore, the Amended Renewable Energy Sources Act, which is shortly called EEG, provides support when existing composting plants are supplemented with a fermentation phase. 
Process combinations of this kind generate both useful biogas and valuable compost which can be used for fertilization and soil amelioration. Why are Germany's waste management and renewable energy programs successful? Germany's waste management success really comes down to two things. Strong government policy and its citizens embracing recycling. The renewable energy success has come primarily from strong government policy and action. Okay, now let's see about Austria. Generally, Austrians are very good at recycling, both on the government and individual level. In fact, according to a Eurobarometer survey, 96% of Austrians claim they separate their general waste from packaging. Furthermore, 99% take measures to separate paper from other waste. Altogether, households in Austria sort more than a million tons of recyclables every year. Additionally, recycling is passing through municipal taxes in each district. And similar to Germany, Austria has a producer responsibility model. Austria has a blanket ban on certain types of waste going to landfill, including any product that has a total organic carbon emission rate of more than 5%. Austria also has a ban on plastic bags. In Austria, recycling is sorted into organic waste, waste paper and plastic packaging. Metal packaging and glass packaging are separate and glass will be chosen by color. Hazardous materials such as batteries are also separated. According to the researchers, most recyclables are either transformed into new versions of the same material or into new items altogether. Austria has a free mobile app called Trash App which help with garbage collection by providing updates from city council, reminding you to put garbage in bins on a chosen day and providing details of specific waste management sites. Okay, now it's South Korea. Waste management in South Korea involves waste generation reduction and ensuring maximum recycling of the waste. South Korea's waste management law was established in 1966, replacing the Environmental Protection Law in 1963 and the Filth and Cleaning Law in 1973. This new law aimed to reduce general waste under the 3Rs in South Korea. This waste management law imposed a volume-based waste fee system which is called VBWF, effective for waste produced by both household and industrial activities. A decade after the introduction and implementation of VBWF system, waste generation rates were reduced and recycling rates improved dramatically. The public's awareness for the environment increased and technologies for recycling improved. Decomposable bags were introduced and excessive packaging of products were also reduced. Refillable products are now preferred to reduce the generation of waste. The VBWF system increased Korean citizens' willingness to recycle, leading to a decreased burden on insulation or landfills. All waste must be separated into general waste, food waste, recyclable items or bulky items. Bulky items consist of waste that are too big to fit into the issued disposable bags such as furniture, electrical appliances and office items. These bulky items require special stickers attainable from district officers. Recycling is necessary in South Korea and recyclable items are divided according to material type from paper to plastics. A monthly fee respective to the amount of food wasted is then charged to each household enabled through a radio frequency identification card, which is shortly called as RFID. 
Since the South Korean government banned the dumping of food waste in landfills in 2005 and implemented food waste recycling in 2013, the amount of food waste being recycled and increased dramatically. Citizens are encouraged to include only what animals can eat in this food disposable bag, bones, bits of fruits and seeds, hence cannot be as considered food waste. The collected waste is then dried out and repurposed into feed appropriate for animal consumption. Some food waste is turned into fertilizer or food waste compost instead after it has gone through processing and all moisture is removed. This fermented food waste fertilizer is an eco-friendly and organic option in cultivation of crops. Many parts of the world are researching on feasible and environmentally friendly ways to dispose of e-waste for the waste electrical electronic equipment which is shortly called as WEEE management system. Recycling processes have been established in several countries but the WEEE waste management system has not been introduced in most countries. In response to growing the concern of electronic waste, the act on resource recycling of waste electrical electronic equipment and end-of-life vehicles was introduced in 2007. This act is aimed at reducing the amount of e-waste ending up in landfills and incinerations and improving the performance and lifespan of such electronic devices. Okay, now the fourth is waste. As a nation become better at managing resources including what traditionally thought of as waste, this will help with the security by safeguarding the supply of resources but also help to drive economic progress through the circular economy. This is where instead of manufacture, use and dispose model that seek to reuse we manufacture and recycle which will help support sustainable jobs for future generations. This is how Welsh think. A key element of this is what they all do as consumers, reducing the waste they generate in the first place but ensuring that they use local services available such as food waste collection and recycling. This can also help generate electricity to meet energy needs and produce new raw materials for industries. Local authorities have clear responsibilities for collection and disposal of household waste. The key policy in this area is set out in towards zero waste, which charts a path to zero waste by 2050. Welsh government have also set out recycling targets which local authorities must meet or risk substantial funds. This means that by 2024 or 25, 70% of municipal waste needs to be recycled with the remaining 30% to be dealt with high efficiency energy from waste plants. It is vital that residual waste continues to decline steadily over time. Example reduce product packaging and more eco-design products which maximize reuse potential at end of life. That is why many councils are limiting the amount of black bag waste households can dispose of. Research has shown that even in 2015, at least half of what people put out in the black bags could be recycled. The strategy has been developed to meet European, UK and Welsh legal or policy requirements. Welsh councils have successfully worked in consortia to procure treatment facilities for food and residual waste. 
However, the approach to local waste management must be taken within a broader approach that focuses on the principles and goals of well-being of future generations act. Okay, now it's the last one. Fifth, it's Switzerland. The waste management in Switzerland is based on the polluter pays principle. Bin bags are taxed with pay per bag fees in three quarters of the communes. The recycling rate doubled in 20 years due to this strategy. The recycling rate for municipal solid waste exceeds 50% or 60%. In Switzerland, the following common household waste materials are recycled. Aluminium and tin cans, coal batteries, light bulbs, glass, paper, PET bottles, textiles, electrical and electronic equipment, and other. The disposal of recyclable waste is mostly free of charge, though not always operated as door to door collection. Some waste must be brought to collection spots, such as glass metal, textiles. Some is collected in supermarkets or retail shops, such as batteries, PET bottles, old electrical and electronic equipment. Since the introduction of landfilling ban in Switzerland on 1st of January 2000, all non-recycled combustible waste must be incinerated. When talk about the household and trash disposal, it is a financial incentive to recycle as much as possible. For recycling, it is usually free of charge or cheaper and not always operated through a door-to-door -door collection. Swiss health officials and police often open up garbage for which the disposal charge has not been paid. They search for evidence such as old bills which connect the bag to the household or the person they originated from. Dumping refuse and household waste inappropriately or illegally incurs a heavy fine. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go click the bell icon and wait for more videos. Share this video with your loved ones and don't forget to say something in the comment section.